Hi, in this video, I'm showing you a little bit about our duct accessory menu, where you're going to find our flexible duct and also our smooth duct option. Before I show you that, let's go ahead and just draw a straight piece of duct. So I'm going to go in my Southwest ISO view. We're doing 3D duct here. Choose duct here from the ribbon. If I wanted to, I could add a flange to this duct, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to create a straight piece, a round duct. Let's just go with eight inches, check and change here. And then I have some draw view options here. I'm just going to do a straight duct and pick it from this point here and I'll choose draw. And I'm just going to put a point in here. I don't have my ortho turned on, so I'm going to press the F8 key and then as you can see at the cursor is my tooltip, which if you don't see that, you can dine mode and then set that to three. This is really useful because I can see the distances directly at my cursor. So I'm going to go ahead and then type in 12 feet and then I can exit. So this is my 12 foot piece of duct. Now, if you look really closely, you can see that I have an annotation here, which just really small. Now the setting that controls this text height is called dim scale. If you're needing to annotate your duct as you draw, you'll want to check your dim scale to make sure that's high enough. You might even try a dim scale of 12 to start out with. I'll link to a video about that. If I wanted to create a branch in this uh, piece of duct here, I can just simply go up here again and select branch. And here I'm going to have some options as far as the type of branch. Here I have round or rectangular as uh, two options. And then my size is over here. Now, if I wanted to go, let's say with a six inch size with a length of, let's say six inches, I can just change that there. Over here, I can select my branch angle. Here, you can see that length label that we just spoke about. And then I'll choose draw. And look at the tool tips and cursor again, and it will tell you to select the main duct and or main duct center. As you can see, my snaps are set to center. So I'm able to come up and left click on that. And now it wants the main duct direction. And it's just a matter of pointing that down this way. Again, making sure that your ortho is turned on and then clicking a point. And now it's saying location of branch on duct reference point. So it wants the reference point from where it's rubber banding right now. So we point it down this way and then we type in two feet away from the end of the duct. So we just type in two feet, enter. And now it's asking for the branch direction. So again, real important to pay attention to your command line. So we'll just left click out here. And then the diameter of the main duct is eight. And now it's wanting the label insertion point. Now this is going to be super small, but we'll put it in there anyways. And then we'll exit. So as you can see here, if I shade this, you can see here that it's put that branch in there for us. Now, as I was explaining when we started the video, the duct accessory menu, and I want to create a flexible duct. You'll have a pull down here, so you'll see all the different accessories that MECQ can create for you, including air handling units and heater units and so forth. But for today, we're just going to do a flexible duct. Again, we'll have some options here, similar to the other menu. But I wanted to show you the smooth option, which basically doesn't show this concertina type arrangement. And by the way, this is a new option just recently added into MECQ, and that's the reason I wanted to show you. So we just select draw again, and it's just giving us some information here. It says a maximum of five points can be selected. So we can just left click on the center of the duct here and come out however many inches or feet out where we need to go. Let's just type in 30 inches and then two points. So we're just going to go down with this duct here. We'll just type in 30 again. And then when we're done, we can just press enter. And then it's going to create that run for us. And then we could add a diffuser to it. Again, you can 
define the size of your diffuser here. We'll go with a six, six and leave everything else the same. We want a round to rectangular type diffuser and we start off. Again, we left click on the center and then now we just give it a vertical up direction. So any point up here and then that puts in the diffuser for us. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video today. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll talk to you in the next video.